remember. All I'm offering is the truth. Next I am going to just randomly expose Jordanus Maximus, Michael Tesserion, Peter Joseph, and Acharya S for the New Age Theosophic Illuminati deceivers that they are. The following is proof that Jordanus Maximus, Acharya S, Peter Joseph, and Michael Tesserion are not only inducting people into the esoteric lies that Theosophy and the Illuminati want the population to accept, but they are getting their arguments right from the Satanist Theosophist Helena Blavatsky, right from her books. This proves they are aware that they are externalizing theosophy to the public. I am not, however, committing the genetic fallacy of saying it comes from Blavatsky, so therefore it's wrong. I have already refuted these theosophic claims. What I am saying, however, is that by externalizing Blavatsky's view, these people are doing what the elite want them to do, and that is inducting the population into theosophy and the New Age step by step. Have you ever heard or read uh, Mrs. Blavatsky? She's uh, uh, Alina Petrovna Blavatsky. Right, right. Yes. Yes, I have all of her works. You have. Yes. Well, that's why. Yes. I no, think her 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 best work was Isis Unveiled, Part Two, which is uh, theology. Right. Science. And uh, that was an exceptional uh, work. I think that Helena Petrovna Blavatsky, the Russian mystic, was a very wise and perceptive lady and she had some very profound uh, knowledge uh, obviously and her academic uh, uh, achievements were, were extraordinary and so I have a very high respect for the work of Helena Blavatsky. For Jordan Maxwell admitted that Manley Palmer Hall, the 33rd degree Freemason, was a great friend of his. Manley Palmer Hall, one of my uh, very good friends, said in one of his lectures Manly Palma Hall, one of my uh, very good friends. Although Jordan Maxwell exposes a lot of truth with respect to apparent political corruption, this is a requirement for the esoteric disciple. He must gain your trust. That is why he appears to be anti-New World Order. However, he is doing the very thing that the New World Order wants him to do. Externalize the mysteries, externalize the hierarchy, and induct people into the theosophical ideas. In the Zeitgeist 2009 orientation lecture for the Zeitgeist movement, Peter Joseph quotes directly from Helena Blavatsky's book, Key to Theosophy, in the introduction. Let's first look at what Blavatsky says. Inquirer, what are the objects of the Theosophical Society, Theosophist, to form the nucleus of a universal brotherhood of humanity without distinction of race, color, or creed? 
inquirer. The Theosophical Society is not then a political organization? Theosophist, certainly not. It is international in the highest sense in that its members comprise men and women of all races, creeds, and forms of thought who work together for one object, the improvement of humanity. But as a society, it takes absolutely no part in any national or party politics." Unquote. Now here's what Peter Joseph just said in 2009. The Zeitgeist movement is not a political movement. It does not recognize the visionary notions such as nations, governments, races, religions, creeds, or class. Rather, we see the world as one organism, with the human species as a singular family. The Zeitgeist movement is not a political movement. It does not recognize the visionary notions such as nations, governments, races, religions, creeds, or class. Rather, we see the world as one organism, with the human species as a singular family. Peter Joseph and the Zeitgeist Movement is nothing more than a New World Order Illuminati Theosophic infiltration of the Truth Movement. In fact, Peter Joseph in Zeitgeist Addendum, after persuading people that this New Age change is somehow good, he quotes Blavatsky again, this time using the same derogatory term that Blavatsky uses towards those who don't buy into the New Age agenda. The emergent and symbiotic aspects of natural law. The emergent nature of reality is that all systems, whether it is knowledge, society, technology, philosophy, or any other creation, will, when uninhibited, undergo fluid, perpetual change. Likewise, the future will contain technologies, realizations, and social structures that we cannot even fathom in the present. And it is this awareness that aligns us and leads us on a continuous path to growth and progress. Static, empirical knowledge does not exist. Rather, it is the insight of the emergence of all systems we must recognize. This means we must be open to new information at all times, even if it threatens our current belief system and hence identities. The fact is, there is no such thing as a smart human being, for it is merely a matter of time before their ideas are updated, changed, or eradicated. And this tendency to blindly hold on to a belief system, sheltering it from new, possibly transforming information, is nothing less than a form of intellectual materialism. Intellectual materialism. The phrase intellectual materialism is a theosophic phrase first invented and used by Blavatsky and her theosophists, namely in Lucifer magazine. Now, here is Acharya S. repeating the Theosophic Principles verbatim from Blavatsky's book Ices Unveiled with respect to comparative religious studies. This occult operative Acharya S. didn't come to her conclusions based on any kind of meaningful research or study. She just quoted verbatim from Helena Blavatsky's book Ices Unveiled Volume 2 into her book The Christ Conspiracy. With respect to the false Hindu god Krishna, which Blavatsky misspells on purpose, Blavatsky asserts, quote, Krishna's mother was Devaki, or Devanagu, the Immaculate Virgin, unquote. Acharya S. then externalizes this exact theosophic principle to the public. She says, quote, Krishna was born of the Virgin Devaki, unquote. Blavatsky teaches, quote, the second person of the Trimurti, Trinity, unquote. Acharya S. externalizes the same thing. She says, quote, he was the second person of the Trinity, unquote. Blavatsky teaches, quote, Krishna is persecuted by Kansa, tyrant of Madura, but miraculously escapes. In the hope of destroying the child, the king has thousands of male innocents slaughtered, unquote. Acharya S. externalizes, quote, he was persecuted by the tyrant who ordered the slaughter of thousands, unquote. Blavatsky teaches, quote, Krishna produces miracles, cures the lame and blind, liberates the dead, unquote. Acharya externalizes, quote, he worked miracles and wonders, raising the dead and healing lepers, the deaf and the blind, unquote. Blavatsky teaches, quote, he crushed the serpent's head, unquote. Acharya S. externalizes, quote, he is depicted as having his foot on the head of the serpent, unquote. Blavatsky teaches, quote, he persecutes the clergy, charges them with ambition and hypocrisy to their faces. Tradition says he fell a victim to their vengeance, unquote. Acharya externalizes verbatim, says, quote, 
He castigated the clergy, charging them with ambition and hypocrisy. Tradition says he fell victim to their vengeance, unquote. 